At the moment, we've got... Oh, it looks like Mysterious is going to go down before he even gets to the midpoint. What a fray and also Purple Cars is over there at the moment. Probably the damage of Purple Faro is good. He might go down too. And now Mysterious versus Storm Vito in downstate. Uh, getting him back up even with the damage from the Stolen Warrior ability of Kaza. We do have a Refuge going out, but the damage might be a little bit too much <coughs> for him to handle. Burn going down. We have a knockdown on Don Vito and Lemming knocking oh, back at oh, wow. there. Port towards the battle stand, but the battle standard was a little bit no. too early to really he take fell. advantage of that. Uh, yeah, he parted into it. It's a line of sight to try and get out oh, of nice any damage. Oh, mobilized. Taking down Articuno on the midpoint, and maybe they are fast enough with the stomp and then the DK, but we do have the Vapor Fall. Oh, Is it going to be enough? Banner. No! Both the DK. Warriors there back up go. over on mine. That's a great move from Mysterious there. Had the banner <laughs> off cooldown, remembering that, and going into Vengeance, even if he dies, his team is still up on this fight. Oh, nice. And a really good decision from him to be fair. And look how many minutes we've got left in the game. Eight minutes we're about to hit. So we might see some potential boss kills. Now the caps, the, actually the points have only just been fully capped now for the first time in this game. Cap on the midpoint, there it goes. The cap coming out, I think, due to the renewed focus of Frelino was the only man on the point at that uh, particular time. Lemming getting a lot of the cap. Now we have Mysterious coming in from the side. They do need to fall back to get him back up because he's going to die, uh, die in a couple of seconds. I run the mind. Taskin is being chased by Frey as well. Takes him down with oh, that so no. two AOE damage. But um, I don't think, you know, Atrus is not... Lina brought down. Atrus there might go for the storm. The damage is almost enough. No, we have the oh, knockback. The and now the damage is going to be enough for Taskin to die. It, and then oh. the Now we're going to go into the second match. Booty Bakery on the red side against Pizza with Nutella on the blue. It's possible as Red Team come in and try and get a lot of burst down on Ken, taking him out on the way. Probably not the best idea that he did that, advancing. If they're up to, they're thinking about a cross happening. Why would you go in front of the three players who are currently running to your node? A little bit of a mistake there from him, in my opinion. Normally waiting I, around the side I think he, probably a better idea. I think he might have been thinking, uh, <coughs> yeah, no, they're not going to cross anymore. <laughs> Four people now falling back. As well, static field to keep Atrasea off him. Next couple of engages we have the immobilized and the nice shield of wrath pulled out they're really trying to play with the cooldowns renewed yeah. focus coming out and managing to get away on quarry now hibify on it trying to keep it oh, out almost instantly bring him down still managing to die off point we have lemming coming in from the side knocked off point we have the ability still cap there we go knockback stability on Artie kuna with the earth shield but war banner is going to bring him back up really in a lot of trouble here. Ken Taysen can't really get on node to try and support him. He has gone to the downstate. Three members now of Cheese Mode on this side of the map. We are going to see Atrasia trying to come in as well, but he's still really low HP with Hippify coming up behind. Still putting on that pressure. Really good job from him. Atrasia almost taking him down really close. Hippify so low on HP at the moment. Did get his health back as well. Nice job from him. Atrasia doing a great job there, but unfortunately not able to pick it up with Karzez putting on the extra pressure onto him. Good pressure from both teams onto different members there to try and win that fight, but Purple Karzez has been quite decisive there and actually winning that little little skirmish no, off the mid. In combination with Purple Karzez leaving the end of Atrasea also a little bit out of position, but Hibify afterwards and dying after the death of Atrasea, meaning no rally for him. Second try for a stomp. We do see the refuge coming out from Purple Kaze and saving his life. Oh, decap in mid. Mysterious, sneaky. Yep. But also and, and we got the decap far as well. And you never see AED in use in them. Um oh my god, he's used to it at the, per at the perfect I, time as well. Look how much HP he got back. I think it's, <laughs> it is going to be get really difficult. If they get a cap, they need to Lord Rush immediately. They're, They're actually trying going to for go the Lord for Lord Rush in eight points time. They, they, this is really nope. um, They need a decap on the waterfall, and it's not going to happen. They need a decap on the waterfall. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Just you saying in map chat that they GG'd. <laughs> oh, well. Good job. Good job from Cheese Mode there. Thank you very much.